<laughs> it was green. Why? Have you ever wondered why your body secretions change color? Oh my gosh, it's green alien snot. I must have caught something from Bomb Bomb Bit Bot next door. I mean, I knew we shouldn't have been hanging around with space aliens. This is how the apocalypse begins. It's a space virus and I'm patient zero. I have just double heard that you have accused me of giving you green alien snot. We do not produce snot. We are superior beings. Well, what I think Lauren meant was that she has green snot and she's never had that before and she just met you so well i'm offended we simply cannot be infected by the same virus as viruses will evolve to infect a population of beings take it back void the accusation lauren fine it's voided what's wrong with me then i accept the voided accusation i'm not done unpacking my sleep room i'll be back later I'll tell you what's wrong, Lauren. You do not eat right. You don't drink enough water. You don't wash your hands and you're always fiddling with your face. And all of your snot-nosed gal pals come over here and they're using up all the tissue. All of my friends have allergies, which is not contagious. So what do I have? Let's go to my lab. Mucus is comprised of about 95% water, cells, a protective chemical called mucin, which is made of sugar and protein and some salts. Mucus is produced and released by goblet cells, which are interspersed in your respiratory and digestive linings. They're also called mucus membranes. Your body produces about 1.5 liters of snot per day. You're probably swallowing most of it and don't even know. Mucus in your respiratory passages protects your nose and sinuses from dust, bacteria, and toxins. It can change colors and texture for various reasons. I'm gonna bring in some of my friends who will tell their story. Hi, I'm Clear Snot. You want me in your respiratory system because I keep everything nice and clean. Now, if you start making too much of me, then it could be a problem, especially if you have other symptoms like fever. If not, it could just be allergies. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm thick and cloudy snot. The reason why I'm thick and cloudy is because your nose has held on to me for too long and I'm starting to lose my water. Also, I might have some immune cells with me that are fighting a good fight for you. So, you might be infected with a bacteria or a virus. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm yellow snot. The reason why you're seeing me is because you're probably infected with bacteria or a virus. And the yellow color is from the immune cell enzymes. <laughs> well, hold on, my older sister's here. Bye. I'm green snot. The reason why I'm green is because your immune system is hard at work. There's white blood cells, dead white blood cells, enzymes, and other waste products. Let's hope that you don't lose the fight and get sick. <coughs> Take care of yourself. Bye. Well, if you're seeing us, you've got some red blood cells in your snot. Mm -hmm. Could be from a dry nose or maybe a little irritation, but maybe you picked your nose with some sharp fingernails. Or could be high blood pressure, who knows. Mm. Our cousins are here, they wanna talk to you now. Hi. We're brown and orange snot. The reason why we're this color is because we have old red blood cells. So it's an older injury or irritation, or you could have inhaled some pollution. Or maybe you're a smoker, you shouldn't do that. Mm -mm. I'm black snot. If you see me, you have a fungal infection. You're smoking too many cigarettes or breathing in toxic chemicals. You need to get this checked out. Okay, bye. We need to take Lauren's temperature. Whitney, go get the thermometer. And while we're talking about body stuff, Bond, please tell me why I had yellow poop this morning. It was a little greasy, too. Please do not talk about your poop. I cannot handle that. Well, it's a valid scientific question, honey. Something could be dreadfully wrong. Poop should be brown. 
but there's a lot of reasons why it can change color. Like for example, <coughs> if you have green poop, it could be from spinach or maybe the dye from cereal or even iron supplements. I mean, there's so many reasons. My friend's mom had black poop once. She was in the hospital. It was like a stomach ulcer. She's good now. We just can't stress her out. My friend once had black poop from eating blueberries, so. Ew, what if you had red poop? Red could be from beets, jello, red food dye, or even inflammation. Uh, could be cancer or hemorrhoids. And I also had orange poop one time, but I think it was because I ate too many carrots. My eyes kind of turned from brown to orange too. Yeah, that could happen, or it could be a problem with antibiotics, uh, antacid, or maybe even a problem with your digestive system. Can you get to my yellow greasy poop question, please? Okay, yellow could be normal. It could be that you had a, a diet in high fat yesterday, or maybe you're not digesting gluten, um, or it could be other problems. Um, I mean, it's hard to say just on a color. Well, that explains it. I had fish and chips for lunch, and then I had a greasy cheeseburger and fries for dinner. I don't normally eat like that, but I was with my gal pals from the Bridge Club all day making bad decisions. Well, if we're gonna talk about poop problems, I have diarrhea. So can you please tell me how I got it and why? Did you have milk today? Yes, I did. <laughs> I wanted cereal. I normally don't drink it though. Mom, I thought you were a vegan and all we have here is cow's milk, so. Diarrhea can be caused by so many things, including food, stress, medication, food poisoning, even just the poor health of your digestive tract. Diarrhea is a result of one of two things. Either water is not passing out of the intestines back to the body, or from too much water flowing into the intestines. Both of those have multiple causes. I happen to know that my daughter Whitney is lactose intolerant. And what that means is she doesn't produce enough of the lactase enzyme to break down lactose, which is the form of sugar in milk. So why don't we go to Oregon City and see what is happening in her digestive tract. May I have your attention, please? Whitney has consumed milk, and I have told her many times that we cannot tolerate that. So don't blame me. Great, I knew that was milk. Why did she do that? Look, I'm not trying to big time anyone, but the intestines are the ones dealing with the problem. I'm not gonna name names, but you can't complain about a problem that you cause. It's like robbing your own bank. Whitney does not produce enough of the enzyme lactase. And what lactase would normally do is chop up lactose, the sugar in milk, into glucose and galactose, which are smaller units that can pass into Whitney's blood. Now, the problem here is that I am stuck with this big old lactose, and it's going to pass into the large intestine and cause some problems. Whitney can't produce the lactase enzyme, or could it be that you, intestine, cannot produce the lactase enzyme? I mean, you need to own it. If you can't do your job, then just let us know. Let's not shame each other. Nobody is perfect. Whatever, stomach. We have a problem no matter who caused it. But what's gonna happen is the lactose is gonna cause an osmotic gradient, which means that water is gonna pour in from the body to the large intestine. It causes us to drown, and it causes pain and cramping and diarrhea. I mean, oh, I can already hear him at work. Great, it's already started. Hey. My friends and I are here to gnaw some of that sugar. Do what you gotta do, but please do not cause all that gas this time. It causes Whitney to have pain and booty toots. Didn't brain just say not to shame others? We cannot help our byproducts of methane, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen. Why don't you tell Whitney, Brain, not to hold it in and it won't be a problem? Brain, just tell Whitney that this is not my fault, okay? She's supposed to be a vegan and not be drinking the milk. Will do. This is all really unfortunate. I could have used that lactose and converted it to glucose for Lauren to use his energy, but 
You know, we all need to do the jobs we're assigned. I give up. I seriously do. Now we know what's going on in Whitney's system, but it's time to check on Lauren. Let's go back to the patio. What's the verdict, Whitney? <laughs> well, she has a fever. It's 101.5. It's not allergies, so. <laughs> Hi, I'm nice virus. My mommy just sneezed me out of her nose. You have a virus. It looks to be a rhinovirus, so you have a cold. So, get lots of fluids and rest. <laughs> Tell them what you have done, Bon Bon Bip Bop, and make it right. Here, I took this earlier when I was here. My Kleenex? Why? It's gross. I desired to analyze the green snot in your tissue to prove that it was not an alien source. But Mumma Mipma has a problem with me taking things that aren't mine without permission. Can you put me back in? It's cold out here. Why not? She just put that virus back in my nose. She sure did. Hope you enjoyed the second episode of Dr. Bond's World. Join us next time for Once Upon a Rhino Virus when we discuss how we get infected by viruses and what our bodies do to fight viruses and what Bomb Bomb Bip Bop does to get in trouble. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an episode. Episodes are released Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central.